Hey YouTubers! Today we're gonna take a look at the Whisper Light. I never got a chance to really do a video on this. Little tiny transmitter. Stay tuned! So what is the Whisper Light? The Whisper Light is this little device. It's a little tiny transmitter, very low power. It's powered by USB. So the maximum this thing can put out is 200 milliwatts. And what it is, it uses the WSPR protocol. And we'll talk about that. Uh, so this device has, there's an SMA antenna adapter and as you can see there's the PCB right down the center of it that's how it's constructed with metal top and bottom and I mean it's robust enough for indoor use I think it's pretty nifty little package they've created and uh, they've got a website where you can view your data that you're going to be transmitting with this so I've talked about this before in previous videos but um, Today we're going to look at the uh, programming software a little bit, and it, which is very simple. You, it's a, sort of like a one-time setup, and then the settings are stored inside this device. And then after that, um, we'll hook it up to an antenna and a USB. Um, I've actually used like an Apple iPhone charger for this test, and. We'll take a look at the results online. The Whisper Light has one control on it. It's a temporary button. That's it. That's all there is on this. Everything else is, it pretty much runs automatically once you press that button. But what's important is when you push the button. So, here's the website where you can get the software for this device. Um, first, you might need to install the drivers. Before you plug in the device, I installed the drivers. Even though it says here if you're using Windows 10, which I am, you might not even have to do this, but I did it. Um, here's where the app is, and it's a uh, monolithic exe so that means you don't install it and then it shows up in your programs start menu it's just an exe that downloads and you run the exe so you know if you want to create a shortcut and put it on your menu if you know how to do that that's up to you um, kind of you run this once and so i didn't bother so here we are running it and you'll see that it is just a small little program and so top to bottom uh, it auto it auto sensed mine so I just clicked to connect and um, since I've done this before it populated my call sign and stuff but when I did this first time I clicked connect and it connected right away so I put in my call sign you put in your locator just a four uh, four letter maidenhead um, locator mine's FNO3 and what band you're on the power I may as well pick them the most power since we're really ultra QRP here and uh, I didn't change this but there's lots of selections there 20% um, of the time is when I'm going to transmit so one fifth of the cycles I will be transmitting um, for a two minute and then here's where you save it just click save that's it that's the entire setup for this device there's a good website for getting the exact time the URL is time.is time is The red light will flash until we press this button. It's in standby mode. So as soon as this hits a even um, time, 
plus one or two seconds, I'm going to quickly hit that button. Don't do it exactly on the zero. They say do it, leave one second or two seconds. So we're coming right up. There. Now the red light is constant. So I believe it is transmitting during this period. Okay, so we'll look at the results in the next sequence. So is it critical that you be this close on the timing? Yes, it is absolutely critical. Okay, so here's um, my test results after sending um, a couple of cycles. And with 200 watts, look at 200 milliwatts. So that's 200 thousandths of a watt. Um, look at how far I've gotten with my 31-foot uh, vertical antenna. Um, these are all stations that have heard my call. This is not stations that I have heard. This is only stations that have picked me up. Look, there's a there's an SWL down there, even in uh, Brazil. How cool is that? So now, instantly, I know where I can reach on the planet at this instant in time on 20 meters. Thanks for watching, guys.